Hello, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2, the Iron Century with the Kingdom of Germany. It is time we take Rome for ourselves, I say. We have a de jure claim on Latium. You are not in a coalition yet, but we are incredibly threatening, so you will be soon enough. You know, not my troops. They are kinda tired right now. There was a thousand men waiting for me. There you go. This might take a few days. We also need to help the Bulgarians. They seem to be losing. Oh, I have cancer. Wonderful. Can you help me with that? I gained a lunatic. But I lost cancer. I say that was a fair trade, honestly. We can negotiate with Siegfried. How about this guy? Do you want his land? He said yes. So he actually gave you this land. This is amazing. Here, you deal with him. And this guy's never gonna like me anyway. Might as well revoke this title from him. He decided to become a Christian. Excellent. Okay. Which one is it? Bremen. Oh, Bremen. Never mind. And this is for you. Excellent. Okay, there are 300 men here. Defending the city and 400 defending the church over there. Okay, go here. So, I have a question for you. You're defending against the Bulgarians. How did you declare that holy war? I'm gonna help you win it, just don't give up before we are actually done with them. Gerberga is such a caring sister, always ready to lighten up the mood during sober family dinner or play with the children. Even though we may disagree from time to time, I cannot deny her accomplishments as a sister. Yeah, her husband really loves me, doesn't he? Okay, go here and help him with whatever you can. Okay, once we take Rome, I think I'm gonna keep the city for myself. This painful, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. So, does anything here belong to the Bulgarians? No. There is a holy war for Sicily here and here. I don't even know who this guy is. I mean, I doubt that he'll do anything. You want me to donate to charity? Okay. Imprison this guy, we need the money. And we can rank up. Maybe I'll need some more centralization, or maybe late administration, which reminds me, I'm gonna switch to scholarship and build an observatory. Can't wait. 
Ooh, we paint. Okay, that's 91%. Fine, 4,000 men. Get ready for the assault here. Am I losing money? Currently, yes. It's not worth it. Okay, there is a small church over here. And you're defending against this guy? A your war over Kion. Okay. Please tell me you're surrendering. Yes. The lost claim. Though Pope Silverstar II fought long and hard for his land in the Italian peninsula, he has finally had to give up. With the losses, he had also had to relinquish all of their old claims to the Roman lands stretching throughout the peninsula. Without the papal influence throughout the peninsula, New conquerors and nobles will certainly try to fill the void left by the Holy See. The rulers and the city-states throughout the land embrace for the conflicts that is sure to come. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to revoke your title, mate. I want this barony. And this barony. So you have these two as well. He's a factor right now. Yeah, yeah, continue, please. I can actually make room my capital. Okay, who needs this little bishop? Ick. Stay here. Rom. Alrighty then. I'm gonna give you this guy. He hates me, so make sure he feels the pain. Is anyone trying to kill me right now? Because I'm not gonna be very popular right now. Someone is trying to kill my second son, which reminds me, I forgot to give you some land. He'll be fine. This girl is only 13. I need to give this away to someone. Just give it here. There you go. This guy, he is learning 14. Not a lot. I'm not gonna observe this. Spoleto. And we have a castle shipyard here. Apparently we were building that. For reasons unknown. We can build castle town. Oh, definitely need to change my capital then. The melee techniques will go down. My military organization will need some work. Honestly, it's not necessary. And the Bulgarians are actually taking this over right now. That's cool. I have no idea who you guys are. Stand down. And I'm moving out. You guys don't need me for this now, do you? I can go into hiding. Yes, someone is trying to kill me. Your observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation that you prepare to make your first observation. I gained one learning. There is a smallpox all around Italy. My leech, I have bad news from Rome. My attempts to increase the country levy has met with nothing but failure. Why now? Look, there's more than a thousand soldiers here. Yes, I know, someone is trying to kill my son. We 
already knew that information. It's not exactly new. Do we have any organizers? Not here. We can have a new commander. Let's seek out an organizer who's gonna help us move past her. This guy. Excellent. That's not him. I'm just pointing that out for anyone who didn't notice it. This is a formal declaration of war. Dude! I don't even know where he is. Stay there. But seriously, do you even have any land? It doesn't seem like it, so... There is nothing I can do about it. Do you have any soldiers? No, you do not. So you're dependent on other kingdoms to fight your war. I need to take down the Venetians as well. She's not gonna excommunicate them. Go with a white piece. There is nothing you can do anyway. I don't even know why you decided to do this. Okay, let's hope this will give me some. Yeah, good. So we have supplies now. You have spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It truly really is fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. Well, I actually need the legitimacy. The legalism, not the legitimacy. Um, How many points do I need for the next level? 150. Yeah, there is something strange out there. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, Rome has two legalism as well. Shipbuilding. The cities and temples are amazing there, though. I will definitely change my capital. And I will definitely need a new hospital there. It's expensive, but I can actually afford it. I'm still gonna keep all the lands in here. Go with the military training ground. We have two prisoners. That's nice. Nice. Okay, he's paying for his brother, I assume. The occupation is 22%. Battles, minus 6%. And no worries, there is no way they're gonna reach this. Also, how many soldiers do you currently possess? 6,000. You have 3,000 for vassals. Oh, look at that. You have an army. I'm surprised it didn't die from the attrition while traveling through the Byzantium Empire. You have a lot of men. And they're all suffering attrition. Or maybe not all of them. Well, she has a lover's box. Yeah, take her. You, sir, are a thief. I mean, I can deal with you later. 
Observing the stars at night, you have begun to sense some irregular movements. You also notice that some stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. You need to study this more. I gained paranoid. I'm a paranoid lunatic and kind of stressed. You're seller seriously gonna run away from me, they? I mean, I don't mind. These are my vassals levies and they are gaining more. Faster than you can think. How's this going? Peasants and rest. 954. In a couple of years, we'll be allowed to do something. Ooh. Okay, I need your help. These are the best commanders we have. Help him. Okay, the left flank has fallen. And the center. This guy is amazing. Your marshal is 19, heavy infantry leader, and a battlefield terrain master. There's your huge victory for the day. And that's the end of the war, mate. Just sign the peace treaty so we can all go home. Tsar Boris of Bulgaria won. Fascinating, so capular. We don't have a lot of troops right now. We have 9,000 men. And that's because of my personal levies, honestly. Speaking of which... Yeah, I don't have money. And I'm losing money somehow. The research you conduct in your observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. You could push your studies further, but you'd need to purchase more equipment. Move on. Okay, I need to stop the construction here. Also, you guys can reinforce at half speed, for now. Minus 20, okay. So this is my kingdom right now, Bohemia. Oh, you're a kingdom now. Can I request a claim for the... No? Okay. You have four sons and two daughters. One of them is married. She's 18, so I missed my chance there, apparently. Whatever. Bringing the truth paid and salvation to others is amongst the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask you to construct a new church. Okay. Here's a better idea. Don't ask me to do stupid stuff and I'm not going to insult you. So oh, what are you good at? Contemplating the Bible. Where did we get so much learning from? I need some stewardship actually, so let's go with that. Sort of works. Yeah, no interest whatsoever. Can I revoke a title? No. Could try to imprison you. Duke Garrow the Bold. He doesn't really hate, uh, like me much. The Trout can marry. Do it.
So we can go with money or prestige. Go with money, we need the money. Okay, I need to cancel my vow so we can have children. So my marshal. He is quite corrupt. And this guy hates me for some reason. Didn't I give you everything you have? Now you hate me because I revoked too many vassal titles. Well, that's kind of sad. So... Okay. I wonder if I click this, can I renounce it? Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> then that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Twenty-two. How much money do you have? Three hundred. He has gold. I'm gonna give him that. And he only has this, actually. Twenty-two percent chance to actually succeed in imprisoning him. Oh wow! Look at that. My forces are already trained. Uh, what? My military training ground is complete. Are we waiting anything here? Doesn't seem like it. You know, I'm going to leave Roma. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coast of Germany recently. Worse there is a rumor amongst the common folk that the pirates are being aided by the Bulgarian agents. Seriously? You must send a letter to insult him? Come on, dude. I must say I do not approve of this tone in your last letter. Accusing others to try and obscure your own failings in keeping your realm safe only leaves you looking like a repetitious heretic. I wish you speedy recovery from your paranoia. Well, I am a paranoid person. I was gonna say lunatic. Yep, I'm still a lunatic. The thing is, I don't care about the prestige anymore. It was important once, it no longer is. Accept your apology and look forward to you for many years, contributing good relationships. With my kindest regard, Tsar Boris of Bulgaria. Okay? Oh, my son has a son. He's a hunchback, though. And he called a motto. I don't know if I should be insulted by that. Vassal inheritance warning. This guy. Don't blame me for that mistake. You should have married someone much linearly. Truth be told, it doesn't truly matter. Yeah, throw in the dungeon and... Should I try to imprison him? What happened? Core Chaplain. Okay, I need you to... I need you to convert people here. Go with my blessing. And the court position. Oh yeah, this guy is gonna be in charge of my health. He bloody hates me though. Let's seek out someone who is actually good at this. This guy, 26, so he's 37 years out, which means that he's probably gonna outlive me. He's Anglo-Saxon, he's Christian and Catholic to boost. He likes the Bible. And is also stressed, so he knows what I feel. We have a hundred gold, then let's continue with building this. 
So we're gonna go to level 3 from there. Small box everywhere. The studies you have conducted in your observatory have convinced you that there are many strange things beyond the known cosmos. There are few sources and no one to share knowledge with you. However, one has heard of a strange old scholar in the Arabian desert who is rumored to possess a vast knowledge of the weird. I have money, let's go talk to him. How long will it take for you to be done? We are at 30%. was constructed by this guy, I can't click on him for some reason. Pope Leo III, Pope Simenacus. <laughs> yeah, that's how you pronounce that name. Simacus. Leo III, Leo VII, Victor the Tormentor. He started construction on stage 3. And then this guy took over ownership. The Necronomicon. Wonderful, that will actually help me with my treasury building. You arrived at the abode of a strange old scholar, Ibrahim. After some persuasion, he invites you in. You speak at length, and he tells you of a scholar, Abdu the Mad, who knew many things of the strange spheres beyond of talking blind are not human. You find out Abdu the Mad wrote a book code the Necronomicon, in which he recorded many strange unholy truths. Ibrahim says that he is impressed by your sincerity and desire for knowledge. He can sell you a copy of the book. He tells you, however, to beware, as too much intense study of the Necronomicon is said to drive people insane. Well, you know, I'm already insane, and I have 101 gold, so I have just enough. I need one more item in my treasury. You want to become more... So I will lose one intrigue if I don't do this. Fine. So, you became ambitious. Wow, you're a wreck mate. A craven, trusting, arbitrary and lustful. Well, you have one good ability. Last ball. Oh, uh, by the way, can I switch something here? Not yet, but soon. Could increase my centralization. A liberation army, you say? 5,000 men! Where did you get those guys? Okay, men. Gather here. We'll have... We'll have a fight in our hands soon enough. Without you, I'm afraid. Since you split your army in two, that's gonna be even easier. I'm not taking the battlefield. I've had enough time fighting wars. Also, I cured cancer. Okay, we have almost 5,000 men. There you go. We're waiting for those 2,000 before we attack them. It doesn't matter how many we lose, we'll still be fine. And you're attacking France, right here. What happened to you? Was murdered on the orders of this woman. Working in your observatory, you're often disturbed by strange noises and cannily arranged insect, carrying away smaller pieces of equipment and cold human-like figures spying on you and then disappearing into the night, before you can confront them. You really struggle to maintain concentration and get anything done. 
focus, damn it. Okay, we have 8,000 men. Let's make them 9,000. Good. You take charge, it's your land after all. Someone is trying to kill my wife. Worrying. Do we know who it is? I want you to stop trying to end my life, uh, my son's life. Good. Conquest of Ghent. That's this. Are you part of the coalition against me? You are. Interesting. Okay. Let's piece you out. And let's kill you as well, for a good measure. So how many men do you possess? 3,000. Can I help you with your war? There is no offer to join war for some reason. Offer non aggression pack. Request a claim. Yeah. No. Request excommunication. Petrovo. Declare war. Mm. And this guy is not Christian, so I don't know why I can't join his war. So you have 3,000 men and 100 monies. Where did you get those? I thought I took everything you had. Wait, you can only raise a thousand men. Don't worry about a thing. Let's form an alliance with you. And she's kinda sick right now. I might have been too harsh on courtiers at Mandenburg, but Councillor Bishop Heron managed to calm them down and even liked me more, just by giving them a half day off. Okay, I can give him 23 gold. Or insult him into his face. Let's see, I am proud, I'm a lunatic, paranoid, yeah, and diligent. I'm gonna say he's trying to impress me. It's not working. I'm such a wonderful leader. Come on, dude, accept my help. <laughs> the book you brought from a strange desert scour has proven quite useful for gaining new ideas and insights into your studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing texts and images, things that lead towards a level of understanding that might make one mad. Well, I'm already crazy. Okay, should I make this my capital? There is no longer a Ningunas here, so... Sure. Congratulations, Rome. You are now the capital of Germany. We can expel the Jews. Well... I could, but I actually need... A little bit more centralization if I'm going to do that. My wife is sick. 
Not very sick, mind you. And she has already recovered. Okay, let's teach you to be drafty. Definitely need to give you some land. Oh right, I was going to arrest you because you were terrible at what you do. That succeeded. Good. Ransom him, I need the money. Who else? This girl who is trying to kill... Do you want me to join your plot? During the discussion, some followers, lay members of the Dominic Order, I mentioned the dusty old tome I store in the library of Tsukalum. Most of the content are hardly illegible. I scoff. The eyes of my peers widen. One should not take writings of the devil so lightly, my lord. So we can destroy the Necronomicon for 200 devotion. I mean, do I even need the Necronomicon anymore? Monthly prestige, monthly piety. I am actually losing piety. Fine, destroy it. And there is a revolt because I destroyed the Necronomicon. The devils are revolting. I say we put them down. All of them. Oh, right. I'm gonna change this focus here. You guys can stand down. We don't need you. And Bohemia has grown a little bit. That's nice. And you shall fall this day. There you go. Prince Ludolf of Germany. I guess... Yes, I can request a claim on her for some reason. What about here? No. That would have been a great prize, honestly. What is this? China doesn't like me. Big surprise. I have a question, so how powerful are you compared to the Byzantine Empire? You have 7,000 men and you have 13,000 men. Well, together we can actually take you down. Are you at war with anyone right now? Doesn't seem like it. Croatia? There is a kingdom, actually. Can make you my tributary, maybe. I will definitely need more monies. Okay, a new marshal. You'll do. Let's see, my steward hates me. Why? Are you my rival? Nah, he just hates me. For no good reason. And he's even not a good steward. Let's invite someone to my house for that. Oh, look at that. Flan of the Canal. So, she is possessed and has demonic horns and is pregnant. Strong genius. This guy must be very proud. I am curious to see how your legend is gonna go, Miss Devil Lady. I mean, look at that. I don't care that she's a devil, I'll marry her. Base 12.
So, what was this actually? Personal combat skills. This character has abandoned all pretenses of humanity and revealed her true nature. Great. Right, did we invite anyone that we needed? No, I forgot. The devil is in the details, as I say. Anyone who is going to actually join me? You, sir, you're not that great, but good enough. Only 36, so... Let's invite you in. And there he is. Excellent. You are my new steward. Congratulations. Start collecting taxes. What's wrong with you, my boy? You're getting kinda sick. Now, you do not have any children yet either. The hell, guys? Come on. Start banging. The stars are right. New culture has arrived in the kingdom. Oh, you have a holy war for Pomerania. On who? Denmark. A man claiming to be a lord, who disappeared several years ago, has found his way to my castle. He sings Unfair Queen of Alice Fland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Okay, when I say welcome, I'm a lunatic, stressed, paranoid. Um... Okay, let's get kind as well. I mean, I would throw in how, but... Apparently, I didn't have that option. Someone's trying to kill my daughter. Can I declare a holy war on you? Yeah, I can, but that's gonna draw in the entire coalition against me. Right, so, I think this is a great... A great place to end my episode, so... I'd like to thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna... Wait. I can become Italian. Right, and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.